uh, starting this video just like all my others. All right. Uh, so this is going to be something new on the channel uh, for the first time uh, ever on this channel. Uh, I will be playing Dungeon Dragons with a few of my friends. Um, let's start from the top. Uh, Jewel, would you like to introduce yourself and where you can be found on the internet? Um, Jewel, I can be found on Twitter and on Twitch, and I can be found other places, but I don't want to be. Um, <laughs> That's fair. I am um, draw. That's it. Yeah, an artist. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, next is my lovely partner, uh, Dizzy. You've been on this channel before, too. <laughs> Hello. Again. <laughs> Again. Man, it's been a while since you've been in one of my videos, though. Yeah, it has been. I don't think it's since, uh, Twitch stuff, basically. Yeah. In fact, I think I was in one of your things most recently. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I think we were playing NSR. Yeah. Uh, and lastly is someone who has never shown up in a voice call with me during one of my videos is our good friend Maddie. Hello. Hello. You're very quiet on my end. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I think people know where to find you, my love, at this point on my channel. Uh, Maddie, do you have anything you'd like to plug? Uh, I have my own channel, but... It's kind of just shit posts, so. But still, yeah, people, cool. if people want to yeah. find out what you do, if if you feel so inclined and want to see some videos that are of just games and no talking, <laughs> uh, yeah, go there. All right, all right. Uh, basically, all of the content that you guys are willing to share, um, I will provide links to that in the description of this video, um. With all that said, uh, let's talk about what the hell this video is. Um, this is going to be the first session of hopefully a completed uh, campaign of the Wild Beyond the Witchlight uh, adventure uh, for 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons. Now, all of us have played our fair share of D&D, &D, uh, but this is the first time that we're kind of doing a bit of a podcast situation for our games. Um, so any, like, anything that I present to you guys, uh, will not be shown, um, on, on the screen, just so you know, it's going to be all audio for you guys listening at home, but for you guys, I will, like, if there's art of a character or a scene or something along those lines, I will upload that, uh, in either, uh, interest, uh, interesting sites or npc descriptions so mm -hmm. that's a thing um <clears throat> one sec Please call. You can call DM. yeah having a having a granola bar right before this was not the great idea um mm -hmm. uh but you guys also do art of your own characters too um so until that can be shared uh as well with the potential viewers uh, and listeners at home, I would like each of you guys to describe your characters. Uh, once again, going down the line. Jewel, tell us a little bit about your character, Denden. This is so stressful. <laughs> uh, Denden's a tiny fairy, like really tiny, like, uh, like proper fairy rules should be about the size of your pinky or ring finger. Um, they're uh they're they have like stormy gray skin um and they have a little unicorn horn and six shimmering wings they make jam in their free time um preferably blueberry jam and they can stand fireflies yeah i see uh your character has a kind of a pivotal role in this campaign uh considering that your character has a connection to a rather important npc um but uh that'll come in later uh my love 
Mm -hmm. Uh, tell us a little bit about your character. Uh, uh, I keep forgetting how it's pronounced. Rihanna. Rhiannon. 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 That's right. Uh, honestly, she's just kind of a normal-looking uh, human girl. Uh, I haven't exactly decided on exact uh, features yet, though I will be drawing those soon. Uh, and she la she lacks the ability to lie. Yes, and there there's a there's a good reason for that, and it, it's part of why your character has left home and become uh, an adventurer. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, we'll hear about that in character at some point. Um, uh, and that leaves Maddie. Hey. Uh, uh, please, ex <laughs> please explain your interesting uh, character. Uh, my character is Silvis Fefira. Uh, they are technically an artificer, but I'm going down a complete path of alchemy so exclusively potions <laughs> they uh, are a brewer yeah yeah uh they spent a good portion of their childhood in the Feywild wild and have some fey like traits such as a donkey tail mm. uh, their race is a wood elf nice. i see mm. all righty so that's uh, our characters. I, I have an introduction to this game that'll kind of give a brief uh, overlook on how each of you guys know each other and where you're heading. Um, but I would like to make it known now that this is probably going to be the, uh, the shortest session that we do because we're starting rather later in the day. Um, but this should be a hopefully a good start to a good game. Um, with all that said, I, I know I asked this off recording, but I'll ask again. Any last questions? Still Can you give so. me a hug? <laughs> I, I I would if I could. Okay. Um, with all that said, uh, let's begin. The logic of fate and time means nothing to those who have control over both. Unfortunately, most people do not have this ability and are forced to meander throughout life the best they can and hoping that they never meet those who do. Despite this, a young woman by the name of Rhiannon has found herself looking for one such person and in passing has encountered two individuals who may be willing to help them. The first is a short-time traveling partner and pocket-sized sidekick, the fairy known as Den Den. This scrappy small thing was once an inhabitant of the Feywild, but after catching a ride on a lightning bolt, they quickly found themselves in the material plane, next to a small iron needle and a rather surprised Rannan, who was thankful to still be alive in the rain. Denden, -den, who could only remember leaving the Feywild to find help for their friend, uh, let's see here, Zabilna, so now had someone to travel with back to Prismire to locate her. The next was a strange figure whose form is concealed in a large coat and hat, their face shadowed by both. They claim to be an alchemist who recently discovered a clever way back into the Feywild with little strings attached. This person would join Rhiannon and Denden -Den on their journey as they needed companions to make their ingredient gathering chore far safer. In time, they would prove just how adept at brewing they really are. With these two friends at their side, Rhiannon would leave their hometown of Scomber to travel to Phandalin, in which a very interesting attraction only recently arrived. So, let me kind of set the scene here. <laughs> Phandalin is kind of a hole in the ground. Uh, it is, think of like, I, I, I don't know how, how much you could picture this, but a, a frontiers min town, uh, it's kind of out of the way. Um, usually not a whole lot going on here. 
Uh, but it's a it's a decently sized town. Um, so you guys are literally just now walking into the town. Uh, it it was probably a good walk to get here. Um, it, it's roughly about seven or eight in the morning. And people are kind of meandering around town, going about their duties. Uh, but there's this kind of strange hum in the air of people talking and conversing about something that is going on nearby. So, as you all walk into this rather dusty town, what would you like to do? Rhiannon. Yeah, I want breakfast. <laughs> I would like to go and find some place that has breakfast. Right on. Um. Okay. Uh. Give me a perception check. First roll of oh, the game. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Perception. Uh. Okay, so that would be a 14. 14. Wow. Not All right. a natural 20. Oh, first I know, roll. I should have had my first natural 20 be to buy, find breakfast. The best breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> um, breakfast. I hate his breakfast. Okay. Uh, you, you spot a sign on a building that uh, you're not sure if this would include breakfast, but uh, it reads in kind of this like charmingly crude uh written board that says the orcs buffet well i mean i'm sure orcs eat breakfast how about that Dendon? Den? yes it's good <laughs> and i'm gonna look at our our other uh compatriot as well see this see this do you want breakfast um, oh, I'm good. Well, you're coming with us anyway. <laughs> yeah. Fine, I'm just. I'm not. No, I'm a. I'm a like put my arm, loop it around their arm, and like kind of drag them towards the orc. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna sit on your hat like the rat from Ratatouille. <laughs> I love that. Who's really the one calling the shots here, huh? <laughs> uh, not you. Wow. The first thing we do in game is go get breakfast. The the thing that Den Den wanted most. It's the <laughs> most important meal of, of the, the day. day. <laughs> All right. Serving it up. Gary's, Gary's way. way. Uh, you know what? Let me. The orcs. What? The, uh, the orcs buffet. Let me. God. I'm actually hit play on this, and oh let's see if it works. It is not working. Are you kidding me? <laughs> This this bot, man. Uh, you know what? S someone who's got the hands and the free time to do it, put in some tavern music for me, if you would. Uh -huh. Um. Uh, do we have another bot to play it, or are you saying to stream it? Uh, no, to just like. Oh my god! Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Find some tavern music. Hold on. Yeah, just just link it in the in the chat, and I'll I'll add it. Uh, you have to do slash add and then add the link and then after that, uh, yep, yeah, and then hit play. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. Nice. Thank you. I'm wow, it sounds like morning too. Hey, perfect. Alrighty. Uh, let me position that just a little bit. Uh, I think that I should think be good. Going on. Turns of... funky morning music. Yeah. Well, there's there's something going on nearby. Um, so as you guys kind of blow into this um this buffet, uh, you find that a lot of people are just kind of uh, like people are just getting up in the morning. They're coming here, social gathering, eating. Um, and there, once again, there's just kind of this like happy buzz in the air as people are discussing things. Um, and as you kind of look around and see 
that there are a lot of people here that are obviously like regulars here. Uh, people wearing kind of miners' hats and and workers' garb. Uh, there seems to be a very odd particular sight amongst this crowd uh, eating this fine morning. Uh, people wearing butterfly wings and clown makeup. Um, one such person is this kind of rather uh, slender gentleman uh, who seems to be dressed up as a magician. Uh, on their shoulders are uh, two uh, pixies, which, Den Den, these aren't you. These are pixies rather than fairies. Uh, yeah, I'm pixies cute. are notoriously a little bit meaner than fairies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but you can you you spot these little bitches like a, all the way across the room. Um, motherfuckers, motherfuckers assholes. <laughs> Uh, regardless, this magician is discussing um, with who you assume to be the orc of this place, a rather uh, heavyset gentleman who is very nicely dressed, um, just talking like loudly about like how you know it's great that he gets to be around for uh, the next visit of the Witch Light Carnival, and that he hasn't seen it for at least eight years now. Carnival. Yeah. Uh, uh, Maddie, your character's name is uh, Silvis. 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 Okay. Uh, there, there's an L missing between the S and a Y. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, Silvis, you recognize this name. This is what you remember being the way into the Feywild. Uh, you have encountered. Travelers within the Feywild who, the way they got in to Prismire, was by somehow sneaking through the carnival into a portal. You don't know how they did it. You don't know where in the carnival it could be, but you know that it's there. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll kind of, I'll give Disney's character like a little kind of like soft jab like hey what that's it that's how we get in what are you talking about that, that's how we get to the fey wild the circus oh Ooh, are you sure that's it yeah i've done this well, before they well isn't that board? convenient hmm well then this is a Pretty great opportunity, but yeah, let's uh, go ask him then. Uh, well, a ask him what? Um, Dude, it might thing. be better if we just sneak in. Okay. Hmm. Like, if they're here, we can go see if it's open right now. Sneak in. What? So as <laughs> as you guys are talking, uh, this kind of chipper little uh. A uh, halfling walks up and says, uh, Good morning to you all. Uh, my name is Zadesh, and I shall be your uh, attendee uh, this lovely morning. How can I help you all? I want... Oh, well, good morning. I want a pudding piece, a chocolate croissant, and a blueberry tart. My friend here will be paying. Uh, that sounds absolutely grand, uh, my friend, but uh, we should get you to a table first. Thank okay. you so much. <laughs> As I'm gonna like, kind of just embarrassingly like follow this. Yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, that you follow this uh, this uh, lovely individual over to mm -hmm. a spare table. Uh, His name is Zaresh. Uh, Zardesh. Mm -hmm. Um, Zardesh uh, walks you guys over to a table that has three chairs, but you, I imagine you're only going to need the two. Um, no, I get a chair. You get a chair too? Yeah. Of uh, course. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> and they will kind of pull the chairs out for you guys. Um, and then Just kind of... chair on the table. <laughs> <laughs> um, I could just like put my bag on the chair giving you enough height. 
No, I'm just gonna sit on like the mm. what do you call it? Like the the back thingy. The backrest? Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. That's, that's cute. <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. So uh as soon as you guys all take your seats, uh Zadesh is going to kinda stand on the free side of the table and say Alrighty then. Uh to eat here it'll be one silver for the morning. Uh if you stay into the afternoon that'll get kicked up into two. Um we do ask that you mind uh, how long that you are here, um, as more people need your seats in a little bit. Um, but as long as, as long as you are paying and polite, um, you have nothing to worry about. Uh, with all that said, um, I imagine you won't be staying here very long, as the carnival's in town. I see. Uh, question, do, do you happen to know how much a ticket costs to get into the carnival? Uh, I do not. Uh, actually, my, my sibling uh, recently beat me to it, um, believe it or not, and I kind of look over at the orc and back to you guys. Um, <laughs> I'm actually covering their shift right now. Ah, I see. Um, so. Hopefully you get to go too. I would like Maybe to. Maybe later? I would like Why to. Why don't you go with us when we go? Uh, perhaps. I, I'm not sure. It all it all depends on when my brother gets back. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay. And with that, they're gonna say, "All right, uh, I'll take whatever payment uh you'd like to hand now." I'll, I'll give them. Is it two silver each, by the way, DM? It is. It's one silver each. One silver each. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to hand him uh three silver. Okay. Mm -hmm. They will take it and pocket it and say, thank you very much. Um, and they'll kind of gesture over to basically a, a buffet where you guys can just walk over and pick up whatever you want to eat and bring it back. Oh my God. Um, I'm going to look at Den Den. And I'm going to look at... Uh, I'm sorry, can you remind me of your character's name? Silvis. Silvis. I'm going to look at Silvis. I'm going to look at Den Den. I'm going to be like, Silvis, I know you didn't want to eat. However... Would you mind helping Den Den with a plate? Because I'm uh, sure their appetite is much bigger yeah. than their stomach right now. Yeah, all right. I'll extend like my hand so Den Den can just kind of mm -hmm. yeah, hop on. What? Okay. I'm gonna sure. help you get some food. Let's go see if I... they have. Uh, what do you want? Blueberry muffin. I'm gonna get a pudding piece, a chocolate croissant, and a blueberry tart, and probably much, much more. Well, you guys paid. Um, with that, uh, your attendee, uh, uh, Zadesh, will kind of nod a little bit with a smile before walking away. Well, let's go get our food. Yes. <laughs> and so I'm, ass I'm assuming we're going to do like a little time skip of grabbing our food <laughs> and everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I... Uh, <laughs> uh, that depends, Jewel. You sound like you had like a clever idea in mind. What? No. When have I ever been clever? No, I've been <laughs> all the time. About, like, like five plates at least of food, and all have like a couple bites taken yeah. out of them, and she like then then does not finish any of them, and now they're just super full. But everything's been like, like she's bitten into everything. Mm. <clears throat> Okay. Oh my god. Control, also, right? speaking of food. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you gotta. It looks like my my food is here. Gotcha. Ooh, okay. Okay. So I'm gonna be uh right back. Okay. Yeah, you're busy eating. <laughs> okay. Uh, so while they're doing that, uh, Den Den. Yeah. Give me a perception check. Oh boy. Okay, hang on. I gotta actually go to the site again. <laughs> Perception. Ooh, okay, hang on. Where's which T20 am I gonna use? Magical. This one, okay. That's um a... oh wow, that's terrible. That's a nine. That's a nine. Okay. <laughs> uh you hear very softly somewhere. Uh, someone say, Man, get a load of that horn. 
Wait, what? Uh, you hear a, a tiny voice somewhere say, "Man, get a look at, it. get a load of that horn." What? I'm gonna like. Can I like find out from where that voice came and just like? Uh, over? give me an investigation check. Yahoo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's a 10 that's a 10 uh you kind of like stand up on the back of your seat and you kind of look around the room and off to your guys off to the left of your guys's table at another table is sat that same magician from earlier um, he okay. seems to be conversing with a, a couple other um, uh, uh, clowns and whatnot. Basically, people from the carnival, right? Um, Which light hands. Um, and on this dude's shoulders are the two pixies that you saw. Uh, and they're both kind of chewing on crumbs and like, like kind of whispering to each other, seemingly about you. Wow, pixies are so gluttonous and mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just stick my tongue out at them. Mm. Uh, they see you do that and they start laughing before they start. They stick their tongues out too, but they start doing that thing where they put like the thumb on their nose and start wiggling their fingers. <gasps> I'm gonna do it right back. You do it back. All That's right. offensive. <laughs> <laughs> That's the equivalent of a middle finger in fairy culture. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you do it back and uh, these pixies kind of start laughing more at you. Uh, mm -hmm. Until one of them kind of, like, they laugh, like, heartily until they roll backwards off the guy's shoulder. <laughs> and there's a moment where you can just go like, haha, idiot, until they come flying back over the shoulder and they whip a crumb at you. Uh, what is your let's see here. What is your AC? My AC is 10. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, this crumb hits you dead square in the face. I'm going to fly over. <laughs> and I'm right. gonna take a fork with me. <laughs> Do you grab Dun Dun? Yeah, I just kind of put both my hands over them. <laughs> and then... Stop! Put your no. hands away from me. This means war. <laughs> Dun Dun, if we want to get to the Feywild, we will not pick a fight with those pixies. Why? We gotta get in, right? I'm pretty sure I heard somewhere that if you just paint with pixie blood on the floor, you can open a portal. And then no. Oh, well, why don't we and then? it out? Huh? And then? No. They're wasting food, though. <laughs> <laughs> they paid for it. But it's still wasted, though. It's their food. They <laughs> what they want with it. Um, well... well I mean, they gave you the food, sort of. Oh my god, you're so right. <laughs> and they're gonna eat the crumb. <laughs> um, the uh, the two pixies on this guy's shoulder, uh, they kind of laugh and snicker to themselves. And as the uh, the people at that table get up and go to leave, uh, they both kind of wave at you goodbye. Oh, oh man, uh, wait. Oh, but uh, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick my tongue out again. <laughs> they'll they'll laugh. Mm, fucking pixies. Yeah, they're how rude. I know, right, man? <laughs> I would have totally thrown that fork at them, but then I was unsure. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we paid. Hmm. Wait, do you wanna? So we paid. you've eaten. We go. We are gonna go to their carnival. Uh, we will once um, Dizzy gets back. You know, if know. if you guys want to like role play amongst each other, I actually have to get up and go do something here in a sec. All right. All right. So, yeah. So I will be right back. Okay. So, service. Yeah.
So this, why, yeah. why can we not? We can, I could just, bet I could just go in. Like, bet I could just go into the carnival. They wouldn't I mean, know. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you could, but, uh, I mean, the other one, not as tiny. Can't fly. No wings. See, maybe you should have thought of that. Oh. What's going on? Well, you guys aren't tiny and don't have wings, and I think that was not thoughtful of you at all. It's. I think it's best we wait what? for them to start a show, <laughs> and then we sneak on in. We I... start the show, we sneak in, find the way to the Feywild, and that's well, it. So you want to pay, though? No, I don't want to pay them. No, but, okay, sure. You'll manage. Yeah. I... Uh, what is it with just... you and not wanting to pay for things? I don't have... I don't think I have... Hang on, do I, I have, have money? money? <laughs> I don't I have have... enough, but I have... <sighs> I like, have money, but I don't know how much does it cost to get a ticket. Whoopsie. They never told us. I don't think we should I mean, take we a only ticket. Asked, like, one person. I think it's better if we sneak in. If we take a ticket, I mean... I think you're forgetting about my little condition, though, in case we get caught. <laughs> um, yeah, can you... But, okay. Can you just, but like, can not, you not talk? Lie? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just don't talk to them. <laughs> If they ask, if, if they, they catch talk to you, me specifically, what am I supposed to do? Just, just act like you're mute. We're gonna like yeah. you just act, and we're gonna say, I, "Oh, she's mute." Act, act like you're deaf. Oh, then that's a lie. Uh, no, it it's the, called. Like, a what acting. are the rules on this? Like, curse, uh, yeah. I guess. That is a good question, actually. Uh, DM, act? do I know? <laughs> He's not, not here right now. now. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna have my um, miso soup and think this over. <laughs> You know, yeah. I oh my God, I got an idea. Wait, you could yeah? just I can take one of my cloths, wrap it around your mouth. I'm back. Problem solved. Welcome back, Carl. We gotta know every single specific rule and like loophole of so, this <laughs> of what? Ba basically, like asking first, because they're like, what if we just sneak in and pro we don't have to pay? And I'm like, but. If we get caught, my little condition may just uh, out Yo, us can, all. Can Disney just not talk? Because uh, it's not lying; it's just not responding. Yeah, you like take it as this: you are permanently under the effect of the Zone of Truth spell. Like you had, like you could just choose not to talk, and you can avoid the question. But if you are answering the question, you have to tell the truth. Or yes, at least, don't talk. or at least, what you believe to be the truth. What if okay. we just lie, to Rhea man? Like we say, we paid, to Rhea man. Are you saying me. that's right in front of me? We're... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh... Carl, would I know where about the the kind of portal or door to the Feywild would be? Nope. <laughs> you okay. just you just know that there's most likely one. I just there. know it's there. <laughs> yep. Um. All right. With that I mean, said, is it really that hard to just pay for a ticket, guys? No, if I mean I'm pay, just having fun. I don't care. But listen, listen. Mommy. If we pay, <laughs> I mean, I I don't see why we need to pay at all, really. Because we're going into a place that other people have to pay to get into. Yeah, but. The Feywild, the, the portal or door or whatever they got, it's it's not going to be open to the public anyway. So there's no point in paying. But why, du why double the risk for ourselves? I don't really see it. There's I don't care the about risk. this discussion. Let's go. She's going to pay. <laughs> I'm not paying. Uh, hopefully. Not you. Mm. I know you're not paying for anything. <laughs> I'll just add it to your tab. What? What's a tab? You don't, don't have worry to worry about, about that, Den Den. Okay. You have no tab. <laughs> yeah. That's wonderful. All right. Uh, with that, then, um, you guys uh, get up and leave uh, uh, the buffet, right? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Wait, actually, I, I can't, like, we can take all that food with us, but I only bit into the right. Uh, you can. Um, My tactics oh. succeeded. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't they, know where you're gonna hold uh, it. God, what did I say the the fucking dude's name is? Uh, Zedesk. Uh, that's Zedesh. Yeah, Zedesh. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say retcon his name Zedesh now. I because I can't remember what his actual name is unless that is, is his actual, actual name. name. Okay, cool. Um, people are gonna hear this recording and be like, "You fool, you idiot." <laughs> you know, some people write stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing that. Uh, so, uh, as you guys go to leave, um, you see uh, basically like a mere image of Zadesh. Like, mm -hmm. there's two of this dude now. Um, except one of them is uh, like eating what seems to be like a candy apple and like the stick is sticking out of the apple and he's like holding the apple itself. Um, and he's kind of got like um, like some sort of face makeup on the right half of his face. And he's just telling his brother about how amazing this carnival is. Uh, just going like, like yeah, you know, uh, like it, it's as um, as uh, Bria had said uh, back when we were younger. Um, it's just it's full of like strange people and strange things to see, and it's absolutely incredible, brother. Um, does, he, does he look weird at all? Like, does he look like maybe something's been cast on him or something? Uh, you want to check? Yeah. Uh, how do you want to check? I, I don't know. By looking. Uh, then roll insight for me. Okay. That's nineteen. Nineteen. Uh, no, you you get the sense that this place is just genuinely an amazing place. Wow, that's so relaxing. Okay, um, cool. <laughs> like. Like, there's apparently, like, you gotta keep in mind, this is a pretty dull fucking town. Hmm? Fandolin is in the middle of fucking nowhere. It, it's, a, it's a dirt farm of a place. Like, they have a mine. They have, like, some farms nearby. Other than that, it is just an average town. But they got this dope-ass orcs buffet. I don't know what they want. I think this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Well, th this is also your first time into the material realm, so. Yeah. So you you've never been here before. Everything is new <laughs> and exciting. <laughs> I've never seen this. Yeah, you non fae people are so weird. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um. But yeah. So, uh, Zedesh kind of sees you all, um, and kind of, like tells his brother like yeah 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 like uh it's your turn to ship and he kind of looks over at the orc who is currently talking to somebody else um and he quickly takes off his apron throws it over his uh brother and <laughs> you see that his name is Zadesh like on the name tag what? <laughs> uh you yeah. get... they're they're working just one job yep So, but, oh my god. Us non fay huh? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, who you knew as Zidesh, uh, kind of, like, strolls over to you guys as you were walking out and says, uh, well, my brother came back in time, uh, I should be able to go with you guys. Um. That would be wonderful. Yeah. And as soon as you guys get out of the cafe... Uh, he'll kind of like smile and kind of rub his nose and say, I should probably reintroduce myself. Um, my name isn't Zadesh. That's my brother's name. Um, let's see here. That's a good name for him. Uh, oh, I love that. My name is uh, Babru. Babru? Babru. Oh, okay. Very nice to meet you. Yes. Officially. Mm hmm. Or. It's not officially they, as this can get. <laughs> do they force you to be called Zarash at that working place? Uh. <laughs> you understand dead dead. <laughs> uh, uh, this uh, halfling will, will catch that and say, uh, no, no, that's just, um, sometimes my brother, uh, Zadesh, uh, asked me to cover for him. Um, 
and in return he every now and then uh, pretends to be me uh, at certain gatherings that I don't want to be part of. So clever. I should find a Den Den. Or a Ned Ned? That's how that works, Den Den. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Mm. He kind of got a built-in other person, if that makes sense. Hmm. Yes, actually. Either way, what twins are. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have no Den idea Den. Where, Den, where Den Den's intelligence lies. <laughs> <laughs> Man, just make a twin. Just make a twin. Oh my goodness. Either way, thank you for coming with us. <laughs> Of course. I, I get the sense that none of you are from around here. No, you see, I, nope. I come from the next town over. Uh, right, that's that's correct, right, DM? Yes, uh, you, you okay. come from Scumber. Yeah, I will, I will express this. <laughs> oh, Scumber, huh? Uh, I think my cousin uh, Murva uh, blew through there once. Uh, I think it's also pretty uh, much a dirt farm there, too. Definitely. Hmm. What? Dirt farm? That... It's a it's a term we use around here. It means that there's not really a whole lot going on. Um, okay, because I was going to ask. Dirt seems pretty plenty here. I don't see what the market <laughs> value would be. And the freaking the freaking scope of Dead Dead's intelligence escapes me. <laughs> um... I, I love Den Den so much. Me too. Um, uh, uh, Babru will continue and say, um, yes, uh, so this carnival, this attraction coming here, uh, we haven't seen it in quite some time. Um, it, it's possibly the most exciting thing that has ever happened around here. That's kind of sad. When's the last time it was here, then? Uh... I was about, I want to say, oh, I, I know it's eight years ago, because mm -hmm. my, my older sister, um, she told my brother and I about it, because she went. Um, she, she kind of disappeared for a while, um, oh. and when she got oh. home... Uh, she told us about a uh, a place called Prismia. Oh. Uh huh. Um, and how there were some very lovely people uh, there. Um, it, oh, the loveliest of all. Yes, mm -hmm. she she told us about this uh, this charming young man that she met there named Will. Um, I. I don't recall much else from that story because not long after that she disappeared again. Oh, so she's not I'm around sorry again. To hear that. Uh, yeah. Well, it's she married a dwarf uh, somewhere in Waterdeep, and that was kind of the end of our talking. Mm. So she's oh, not in town so then. Ah, uh, she does come in town mostly for the family reunions, and uh, I don't know. If any of you know much about uh, halfling culture, but family reunions are more like uh, two armies going to war. What? So we oh. don't we don't really get to hold much uh, time to speak. Okay. okay. I see. Yeah. Mm. And you you kind of like he kind of stops for a moment and kind of just uh, rubs the back of his head and says, "I have been talking a lot about myself. Uh, please t tell me." a little bit about yourselves what, what do you it's not every day that i get to see um a warlock and her fairy and uh what do you mean her fairy and you as soon as you say that give me an insight check on uh on your friend here uh-huh uh-huh uh-oh uh-huh hang on can i assist you can because you also oh, heard, okay. they called you a warlock. Yeah, how'd they know that? That's what I was going to ask him. Hang mm -hmm. on, that's a... Oh, wait, that's a 21. That's a 21. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, 
this guy kind of freezes and say, says, I mean, uh, Warlar, why are you here? No. No. I'm not anyone's fairy. Why? That's the part you're stuck with? Him. Yeah, of course. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna My friend. his hair. I'm going to try to hold you back from fighting him. <laughs> I I love that the, this is now a common occurrence where fucking Den Den goes to like try to attack someone and somebody like grabs her. <laughs> I, this is offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask my friend how did how did you know that I was a a warlock? I a uh, friend told me. Ooh. Uh, friend. I uh, think there's only two other people that would have known. Maybe one. Uh, a, let's just say a, uh, a charming gnome uh, told my brother and I that a, uh, a group of people such as yourself would be coming. Um, a, uh, a gnome? A gnome, yes. Where um, is this gnome? I don't know, no, no. <laughs> I, and you can see them kind of like sweating a little bit and say, I, all I can say is that you're heading in the right direction. Um, and that they will be waiting for you somewhere in the car. I see. Listen. So you were paid to accompany us. I, either way. <clears throat> no, no, no. <clears throat> Hang on. <clears throat> Listen here. You don't tell me right uh, now where you got this info from. I'm gonna poke out your eye. I'm gonna poke it out so bad. I'm gonna uh, blow it out and wear it as a helmet. Are you sure you wanna hide something from me? Uh, make an intimidation check with disadvantage. That's so unfair. Because <laughs> you are, you are currently in the hand of someone who is currently holding you as if you were a toy. <laughs> That is so mean. <laughs> oh, my first roll was a nat 20. Oh. Hang on. Um, that's... Hey, that's still a 14. Mm. Mm. Barbara here kind of looks at you. Looks at... Uh, <laughs> uh, fucking... Uh, God. Sylvis. Uh, and and also at, at um, uh, Rhiannon and goes I literally cannot say anything else oh did you make a promise uh, if I if it's something of a nature that I quite understand then I'm <laughs> going to leave it at that Either way, I'm still happy that you're accompanying us. You seem like quite a nice fellow, regardless of uh, the information yeah, you I don't know. know about that entirely, but I mean, well, I mean, way. they took they took the time. They've been they know polite. The town. They can help. Mm -hmm. Either way, thank you for coming with us. All right, sure, I guess. <laughs> Den Den just having like a little breakdown. <laughs> I'll be like, can you, do, do you want another bite of your uh, blueberry muffin? You cannot do this to me. I don't care about food. I put sprinkles on it. I've never cared about Where'd you get the sprinkles? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Uh, with that, you guys start moving again. Um, I do, I do still, like, now sit on Babu's head and pull out his hair. <laughs> he will wince every Eventually. now and then, but he seems I... relatively unbothered. Uh-huh. I'm on. <laughs> be like, Den Den, come on, don't be Den rude. Den. It's in my nature. You wouldn't understand. Let's go. I thought you said pixies were the mean ones. Ooh. In comparison. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so with that, uh, 
you guys draw close to a gathering of people who are kind of coming and going from this kind of path that leads into a forest. Um, and kind of punched into the ground are signs uh, that point in the direction of this path with big, bright, colorful letters. Um, uh, this way to the witch-like carnival. The best thing you'll ever see. Um, yeah? You know, if if I wanted to make money, I'd also pay people to tell other people that they're going in the right direction. <laughs> yes, the only other person I could think of as saying that, though, is obviously not a gnome. Yeah. All right. So, I'm thinking it's okay. Well, and if it gives us a way in, then why complain? Yeah, we can deal with it as we get there. Mm-hmm. All right. As you guys kind of walk in to this this down this path, you notice something change as you get like farther and farther down the line. You guys notice as over time, it gets darker and darker and darker as the trees uh, in the, with the spaces between the trees above you on this path start going out this this light that was coming in from the sun. And new light eventually appears. These stars. And as you break out in this path out into this uh, opening here. You guys start to hear more and more frequently uh, the sounds of a carnival. And as you break through this opening, the first stars of night twilight above the apricot sunset. Giant dragonflies uh, wear overhead uh, trailing streamers, and a low mist curls over the ground. Through a floral archway, you glimmer uh, wondrous and vibrant creatures. Elf, uh, stilt walkers, dancing fairies, and painted performers. Everywhere, there is laughter, pixie dust, bubbles, and the wistful tune of a whirling uh, cataphone, which is kind of like a very like bright and happy musical organ, by the way. Mm. Um see here um as you guys move forward uh you notice actually you know what i'm going to move you guys over here on the roll 20 so you guys can see the map of this place oh let me get there yeah. um and i'm gonna Aww. i'm gonna show you guys what i'm using to keep track of you see this big thing that i'm moving around yeah yeah that is that is your guys location on the map oh that is so cute so you guys are right here Near Ooh. the ticket booth. Oh, that look! Oh, this is so cute. Oh. Right. Okay. This is really nice. You should put that as like a picture of the video. Well, uh, a bit late for that. Okay. <laughs> um. So, uh, as you guys kind of like wander towards the main entrance, you guys will notice a silver statue of a dancing fairy that is mounted on the roof of this ticket booth and surrounding, surrounded by butterflies. The booth is decorated with an animated depiction of the night sky with shooting stars arcing across it. An elderly goblin perches behind the ticket counter and peers at you quizzically through a spyglass. He lowers the spyglass and calls out to you, Greetings, fair fairgoers! Hello. Hello. Uh, oh. how, mu- how much is it for four tickets? Four tickets. And he kind of, kind of, he as he's like looking under the counter for a moment, he stops, kind of shoots his head back up, looks at you guys through the spyglass again, says, You wouldn't happen to be the, uh, he kind of turns the, the glass over to, um, uh, oh my god, his name, uh, Babru, and says, You, your, your friend came by and already paid for their tickets, didn't they? Um, and Babru will kind of 
nod with this kind of worried smile, like, yeah, of course they did. Um, and he'll say, and he'll kind of lean in and say, are you three? Sylvius, Denden, and Rihanna. I don't know no Denden. That is Denden. My name is Ned Ned. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, and he'll he'll kind of turn his glass to the both of you uh, who haven't answered. Uh, yes. I am Silvis. Mm hmm. And I am Rhiannon. Rhiannon. And he'll kind of nod and say, very good. And he'll kind of collapse his glass and put it on the counter for a second. Um, and he'll kind of pull out three tickets. And he'll put them on the ta on the counter in front of you guys. And he'll say, this here is one ticket for each of you. Uh, an adult's ticket normally costs eight silver pieces, and a child's costs three. Now, as you go to attractions around this place, uh, you'll get certain punches into your tickets. And after about ten punches or so, this ticket will no longer be valid, and you will be expected to return here. Or, if you, can, if you can find another uh, wandering uh, ticket booth, you can also buy a ticket from them there, too. Okay. Thank you. Um... Hmm. And before you ask me where your mysterious benefactor went, I have no idea. What did he look like? Uh, well, she was a gnome, carried a lute, uh, had a frog with them. Um, I believe she said her name was Eliwick Tumblestrum. Mm -hmm. um, uh, came okay. in very came in earlier this morning, uh, just said something about, you know, they're reserving these tickets for these three individuals, and they described what you all look like. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Um, thank you again, sir. Uh, I guess we'll go check out the carnival. Yeah. Of course. Have a grand time. Then it'll kind of lean back and as you guys uh wander like go to like enter the carnival um uh bar or uh, the the counter the goblin will say not you and babu will kind of freeze in place Why? and look up and say you need to pay for a ticket young man wait uh i'll i'll pay i'll pay for him how much was it again uh, it is uh, eight silver pieces for an adult. I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give him eight silver pieces. Very good. And he'll take it and put it in the register under the counter and hand Babu the ticket. Who will <laughs> accept it very thankfully and kind of look at you like, thank you. Um, <laughs> like, I almost <laughs> got deep shit um, for trying <laughs> to wander in without a ticket. Um, and you guys may enter. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Uh, so I'm gonna say to him, I'm guessing you were just a sort of messenger piece. I'm... Yeah, yeah. Uh, that tumblestone folk. Ooh, I just got called for dinner. I'll, I'll go in a sec. Uh, that tumblestone, <laughs> uh, tumblestone figure. Uh, she just kind of, you know, uh, very persuasively asked my brother and I to. Keep a lookout for folks described as you all, uh, and to make sure that you guys get here. Um, after that, she just promised that she would visit my brother and I at the cafe later. Or at the, not the cafe, the, um, oh my god. The buffet. The buffet, thank you. Yeah. I'm very nervous, I'm sorry. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of give him a pat on the back, and I'm gonna be like, I, I understand. Either way, I hope that you have fun at the carnival today. Yes, thank you. Uh, it's what? actually because of you all that I get to go see if my friends are actually here already. Your friends? Yeah. What do you mean you have friends? That's rude. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I, I have friends. Yeah. <laughs> How? I. You're quite. Please don't mind, Den Den. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure that you have friends because you seem like a really nice person. <laughs> you do. <laughs> thank you. I thank you again. I, it, it was <laughs> despite everything. Uh it, it's it's been a pleasure. Um all right. Uh you guys well, have a good time. I hope to see you around. I hope to see you all too. And with that, he wanders off. All right. So real quick, I am this going. This dude has a crush. Yes, he does. Um... He he does? <laughs> yeah. So I'll be back. I gotta go grab food. Okay. Wait. On who? Did I not pick up on something? Is this you speaking as Denden Den or as Jewel the player? Why not both? Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty yes. sure he has. He's taken a liking to that. Uh. Elliot? Strong, yeah, yeah, that that gnome lady. Uh, because I mean, the then... only thing that was, the only thing that was promised was that she'd visit him and his brother. Men. <laughs> anyway, we're dead, dead. Like, what is a man? <laughs> I've never seen one. <laughs> a miserable little pile of secrets. Uh, yeah. I first of all, how rude. To be like, oh, you can only go to a limited amount of rides. Only suck ass parks do that. Second of all, I want to go not on the rides, but to the places you're not supposed to go. Isn't that the most well, part about any like yeah open well, park? The places you're not supposed to go. I want to go to at least a, place where a they're gonna couple have things. Yeah, but no. we can do that later. <laughs> okay. I'm not interested in a carnival. I'm interested but there's in a fly. dragonfly ride. I'm interested in the secrets of the car. I'm pretty sure there is a pretty good possibility of giant dragonflies in the Feywilds. We can yes, just also ride you those. should know that most circuses mistreat their animals. Yeah, so this place is... Uh... Mm. Have so you been really... to a circus before, Denden? Den? Do you know my life? Anyway. We don't have to do, like, the animal stuff. We could go to, like, the Hall of Illusions. That sounds fun. No, I'm kidding. We can do whatever. I just... Really... Also, what, where would be something that we're not supposed to go to? Everything on this map looks like we're supposed to go to it. That's not uh, true. See. The stuff they don't want you to see isn't going to be on the map of stuff you can see. Well, I know, but also... it's the map of the whole place. It's just the things that are labeled are the things we can go to, yeah. so... Also, uh, to the, uh... Right, upper right of the mystery mine, there's this little caravan and it's like behind stuff so maybe there's something interesting there, you know? Could be there. Honestly, I, I'd almost assume that something would be in the big top just in the back where we're not supposed to go. Also, the there's also an entire area. staff area which could be there. Yeah, it could be. Also, what in the world is the Witchlight Monarch? What? We'll probably be well. It says all over this little map. Will you be our witchlight monarch? Ah, uh, what does that mean? We'll probably find out whether we want to. Also, win. what is it? Do you notice on the top left of this map, it has a little like thing that says "start Magic. here" and then time moves forward, and then it says "big top extravaganza" and then it keeps going, and it says "crowning the witchlight monarch." Oh, yeah, you guys are you guys are noticing some features of this map, I see. I also noticed the facial expression that was marked. Hmm. It, it disturbs me. Hmm. Um, Wait, what is the bottom left little rabbit? It says, have a delightful time. <laughs> also, nice. Carl, mm -hmm. the, the, the fairy figurine at the entrance, is that just like... Any stereotypical representation of a fairy, or is it like a certain fairy? Where? Like at the ticket booth? Oh, like uh, over the. T uh, it is just a general depiction of a fairy. Racism. Uh, okay. What do you mean racism? 
It's like a it, it's like a statue of a human. I'm allowed to have statues of humans as racists. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, I didn't sleep a lot. Hmm. Excuses, uh, excuses. Yeah. You've got a Either way. All right. So, where would you guys like to go first? Staff area. <laughs> they want to go to the staff area. I've been trying to. I've been trying to say, like, why don't we do some fun stuff since we're here? Yeah. I ain't here for a carnival. Well, but... I am, but I'm here for the carnival and the restricted areas. How about... Then how about you save the staff area for later, then? Alright. <laughs> I mean, let's just make sure not to use the last uh, stamp on our ticket. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. Because he said he expects us to be there. Unless we get another ticket. We just don't uh, want to get kicked out. You guys could go back and buy a second ticket. That's true. Oh, okay. I thought it was like some magical hoo-ha of like, the moment <laughs> you get the last punch, no, no, you're that, out. Oh, <laughs> that's not how I that know works. where we need to go. Hmm. Where? The Pixie Kingdom. I and knew I you were going to say that. <laughs> put out my needle. Oh, don't <laughs> fight the Pixies. Well, don't please don't them. fight Pixies. I pinky promise that I won't fight the Pixies. All right. I Show me your other pinky. hand. What? Better not be. You better not have your fingers crossed behind your back, dead, dead. I got my pinky out. Come on. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you guys this, but I think you need to learn more about how lies and trickery work work in the actual Fey realm. I know, but. <laughs> Again, then, then your 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 span of how you react socially eludes me. All right, I'm showing you my other hand. Let's go. Hmm. I, I don't. I still don't trust you. All right. So do you guys you guys return and buy a second ticket? Uh. No. No. Okay. Because it... I know I'd be the only one buying it. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> All right, so, so what do you let's go to the Pixie Kingdom. All right, All right. so uh, as you, you guys on. wander through, uh, somebody give me a D8 roll, please. Oh, hang on. I also want to mention that I'd like to hide in either of my companions. I don't know. I got a building. six. Hmm. Six. Okay. Uh, real quick, who who do you want to hide in whose pocket? I feel like uh, uh, I feel like so so. Yeah, so this is probably because they have more drapery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I've got enough pockets. I'm pockets, <laughs> though. Mm. Hmm. So you um, you kind of flutter into uh, so this is pocket. Mm. Um, and as you guys kind of move throughout the carnival, uh, making your way to the Pixie Kingdom, or at least as people are hearing it, um, or like talking about it. Uh, you guys pass by a uh, this kind of uh, one of the carnival hands um, and like around in front of him are a bunch of kids and he kind of like waves his hands up over his face and with a puff of glitter this man's head suddenly turns into the head of a uh, baying donkey to the giggling delight of a group of mischievous pixies and children. Uh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and as you guys observe this, he waves his hands again, um, and his head is back to normal, uh, save mm -hmm. for the two donkey ears on his head. And as soon as he realizes it, he kind of frantically pats his head until they're gone, too. I'm gonna laugh at that. <laughs> That's pretty silly. Yeah. So, yeah. So as you guys walk by, you guys see the, uh, the bubble pop teapot which looks like quite the exciting ride as these you watch as these bubbles have like people trapped inside of them as it like kind of leads them over the carnival and kind of floats them around and gently leaves them on the ground somewhere uh, elsewhere in the carnival hmm. uh, their destination seems to be random but uninterrupted um, also passing by is the Hall of Illusions uh you see a bunch of magicians and other uh, illusionists kind of standing outside doing various magic tricks for the passerbys. Um, see? Yeah. 
Uh, as you walk by further, you guys eventually find yourselves outside of what is called the Pixie Kingdom. So, let me find this. I need. Is there there's so many locations in here, so I have to find where this is. Uh, where is the? There it is. Okay. So, a copse of a uh, oak tree shelters a uh, miniaturized fairy ground, or a miniaturized fairground. Excuse me. Uh, at its heart, a hamster runs inside a tiny Ferris wheel. Uh, encircled by uh, minuscule wagons and candy uh, stalls. A pixie sits cross-legged at the hollow of the tree, the entrance to this room. So you guys get up here. See? Hey. No. <laughs> um, as you guys approach, the pixie kind of stands up and dusts himself off and kind of, with a little bit of jig, flops him to, like, floats into the air and does kind of a, this, a deep, exaggerated bow and says... Uh, good afternoon to you all. My name is Jeremy Plum. Uh, would you guys like to enter the Pixie Kingdom? It is the best attraction at the carnival, I assure you. I would love to. Fantastic. Uh, each, uh, that means you who have tickets, um, who can't enter, uh, require one ticket punch on your ticket. I'm gonna like hand. shove my ticket out of out of the pocket without actually going out. I will. Okay. Um, he like he's too like smiley about um, like the fact that you guys are coming in. Um, and he with kind of this like, like you guys actually have to lower, uh, like on the like the platform next to him is a hole punch. And he mm -hmm. gestures for you guys to basically insert the ticket into the punch, and he'll jump on it to punch the hole. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Um. Yeah. Uh. And oh, well. I'll uh, since ten tens in my pocket, I'll insert their ticket in mine. Mm -hmm. See, you get me. Mm -hmm. Um. With that, he will say, "All right. So here's an added deal for you. Um." I highly suggest, while you're wandering around the Pixie Kingdom, that you blend in as much as you can. And that means picking up a Pixie name. Uh, okay. <laughs> now, you can come up with one yourself, or you can let moi pick one for you. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll let you pick for me. Okay. And he'll kind of put, put his chin into his hand and inspect you both. Uh, I need both you guys to roll a d8 for me. Okay. <laughs> um, I got a six. Mm-hmm. Again. What about you, Maddie? Oh, I'm just gonna have, make my own name. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. What what's your what's your pixie name? Oh, pumpkin seed. Pumpkin seed. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Uh with that, um this uh uh let's see here. Jeremy will kinda inspect you um and go, You look like a panchy. Panchy? <laughs> panchy. That's your pixie okay. name. Okay. Okay. If you say so. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is a slur. <laughs> uh, and then he will adjust his eyes to a pocket and say, What about my lovely fairy friend in the pocket? Do they have a pixie name? I Do like they need name. one? I like my name quite fine, thank you. <laughs> hmm, well, that's the thing is, I, I, I assure you that you will find yourself in a better mood and find that the people inside will be in a better mood if you have a pixie name. Do they have something against non-pixies in there? No, but it just makes them more comfortable. Let's say that. 
I'll pick my own pixie name. Please do. <laughs> Let me hear it. Do you, well, I have to tell you? Okay. Yeah. I'll come up with one for me then, I guess. Hmm. Well, <laughs> you mind coming out of the pocket then? So I can get a good look at you? Uh, all right. <laughs> I'm going to climb out of the pocket and like... You're the one that wanted to go to the Pixie to Kingdom. Yeah, this is your choice, then. For personal reasons. Hang on, I'm rolling a die. It's a four. A four. Okay. <laughs> Possibly the best roll that you could have gotten. Um, oh, no. Jeremy, like, kind of, like, just as you can see. See, you had no reason to hide in that pocket. You look absolutely gorgeous today. Uh, hmm. I think you look like a dimple. I think that will be a pixie name. Cute. <laughs> You're a dimple, and I'm gonna go back in the pocket. Why? Thank you. That's my. Uh, that's actually my brother's name. Oh. <laughs> that is so cheery. I wonder if he's dead inside. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what I've been thinking this entire mm. time. I don't trust carnivals and happy people. Mm. Uh, it, while you were. Climbing back in the pocket, um, uh, Jeremy will be like, uh, uh, hold on, you're not going to want to be in a pocket here in a minute. Ah? Because uh, I don't know if you've noticed, and he'll gesture over his shoulder at the very small uh, castle behind him. Uh, yeah. Your friends are going to have to get real small, too. And you oh. can't be smaller inside of their pocket, I'm afraid. I'm not going to get even smaller? Uh, no. No. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Please don't like rip my coat apart. Uh no. For me. I <laughs> I assure you that everything will be just fine. I mean just hold on. And he... I'm talking to Dundun. <laughs> what you no. mean dimple? <laughs> I think you're gonna be fine. Okay. Uh with oh, that, um <laughs> he will kinda reach into his pouch and kinda blow out uh bring out this like uh shimmery uh like pink and white dust and he'll I can't believe we're getting doused in pixie dust yep. right now. That is literally what's happening. This is pixie dust. Um and he got and he blows it onto you guys and you guys feel this kind of weird like tingly sensation as you get smaller and smaller and smaller and as you guys are getting okay. smaller uh, he like gestures for your guys' hands, and those of you who weren't tiny sized before, he very carefully helps you guys onto the platform with him. Can I okay. the carnival if I get an allergic reaction? <laughs> uh, oh, yes. you're not getting those. also, Denden. Den, <laughs> this is the first time ever that your two companions are your sized. <laughs> oh no! I can't hold Dead Dead back now. Wait, wait. Do you I have mean, anything to make me big? I want to make them uh, see how it is, like feel how it is to be grabbed and held back. Hmm. How's your? Tr you were, you know, uh, aggressive. Tendency. Make or trying to fight people. Make. We can't be feeling it. Make huh? a precision check. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> You gotta keep in mind, this is a pixie. Jeremy Plum, no! <laughs> yes, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Persuasion. Where is it? Oh, boy. Okay. Um. I know you wouldn't believe this, but Denden's actually not that charismatic. <laughs> Where's a good... This is a good die. Come on, don't fail me now. Oh, you failed me. That's an eight. Mm. Wow. Roll again. You're doing something that aligns with this, the nature of this creature. Oh, that's an 11. That's not much better. Mm. I'm not rolling good today. So, let me finish two in here. No. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, you say that, and... Jeremy just kind of gives you this like side look with kind of this like smile like I'm I'm sorry but I couldn't just possibly hand that over to you. Um yeah. you're quite I will say you're quite a you're very much a pixie yourself, Miss Fairy. Ah. Uh? And he will kind of 
like as he's walking over towards the entrance, you'll see as he pulls something from his bag and he just pretends to accidentally drop it on the floor behind him. <laughs> no. Um, and he, as he walks up to the entrance to this kingdom and gestures and says, the kingdom awaits you all. All okay, right, gotta then. grab the thing and go in. I'm okay. I'm in a good mood now. Okay. <laughs> uh, put in your inventory pixie dust. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh my gosh. Mm. We're gonna regret this. Mm. <laughs> so. Uh, entering the pixie kingdom, uh, the description is the pixie kingdom is a tranquil oasis compared to the rest of the bustling carnival. The air, the air is filled with the aroma of blackberry wine and flower blossoms. Eight uh, brightly painted doorways are nested at, uh, in the bark of the bases of the surrounding trees. Uh, Twelve pixies reside here during the carnival hours. Um, and these various pixies are flying around, um, talking to people, um uh basically like basically trying to help like the fair goers that have entered this place get used to being small um and there's a couple of interesting um uh things going on here in the kingdom uh oh, there boy. is an excitable pug that is running around with a uh with one tiny fair goer on its back oh my goodness um the centerpiece is a pixie palace uh, that is made entirely of old uh, cocoon husks, uh, beautifully woven together. Um, and there's uh, there's kind of this weird situation off to the side um, where there's like a pixie cottage that is that doubles as a bakery. Um, uh, and there's also a large wheel uh, that is being spun around over and over by a talkative hamster people keep calling Biscuit. Uh, people are Aww. riding around in the wheel. Oh, that seems derogatory somehow. <laughs> Go hmm. run in the hamster wheel. <laughs> hmm. No, it's just people, what people do here for fun, apparently. <laughs> okay. So what would you like to do? I mean, this is you guys' first time being small, so you pick. Um, what looks like the most fun thing here, Dina? <laughs> uh, to you, probably the pug ride. Yeah, honestly, I want to go ride the on the back of the pug. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you wander up to kind of this grassy opening where a large, to you, a large pug is currently uh, sitting down on the grass, um, being fed a treat by a group of pixies. Uh, the rider of this pug gets off and is, like, barely holding it together about how fucking amazing this ride was uh, to her friends. Um, and together they kind of wander off over towards the bakery. Um, I see. Yeah. Uh, these pixies kind of catch notice of you guys approaching uh in particular the fairy that is with you um mm -hmm. and they kind of start looking at each other kind of whispering silently uh before two of them fly over to you and say uh uh good afternoon to you all uh would you guys like to ride um uh ride a pinecone here do you say that in say... character jewel <laughs> What, me? Wait, what? Jewel? I didn't say anything. I, 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 it was me. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Oh, do you say that then? In character? You know what? Why not? Sure. You, I I'm go. just like, that's adorable. Uh, yeah, the, the pixie on the left, um, she will say, uh, with kind of this like happy, energetic smile, like, yeah, her name's Pinecone. Um, she's, uh, she's a mount. And, uh, if you, you know, are willing, well, you're in here, so I imagine that your ticket got punched. You can ride him for free. Yes, please. Yeah, come on. And uh, she'll, like, extend her hand out to you. Okay. 
and she'll kind of, as soon as you take her hand, uh, you feel yourself lift off the ground as she gently pulls you over and above Pinecone and then very uh, carefully lets you get into the saddle. Uh, this is great. It is, this pug is so happy to see you. He's like turn around trying to lick you. Um, oh, I'm going to give them good pats. Yeah. You scratch the back of his ear and whatnot, and he kind of does the happy, like, ooh, mean pet uh, shake that, <laughs> that dogs do. Dog. Um, oh. Yeah. Uh, and then the, the pixie kind of straps in the side of your legs and basically gives you, like, a, a, a rein to, like, hold on to. That's like basically just attached to this dog's collar um, and says, OK, you're going to hold on to this um, okay. and keep in mind, uh, for whatever reason, Pinecone here only listens to us pixies. So if you need him to do something, yell it out and we'll make him do it. OK. 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 All right. You ready? Yes. OK. We're, we're just going to have him take you around the area. All right. Sounds good. All right. And with that, the pixie will kind of fly up and away from you. And she'll kind of whistle, uh, a loud whistle with her hand. And uh, Pinecone here will kind of freeze, look up. And uh, the fairy will kind of wave her hand around and say, like, go for a run. Uh, and you very quickly go from, like, I'm sitting here to, oh, gah! as <laughs> As Pinecone quickly gets up and starts scampering around the kingdom uh like hauling ass this dog is going for a run i am going to be like you know like people who are like they kind of do the like little laugh scream like mm -hmm. on a roller coaster they're like <laughs> <laughs> you know mm -hmm. this is great <laughs> <laughs> yep so i'm just gonna be like this is the best day of my life <laughs> pinecon will um you see that there's like various obstacles that have been put up to like a little like a stick that's on the ground. Um so Pinecon will jump over it. Can it he'll actually stop uh mid run and he'll walk over to um the large fairy fountain in the center of this place. Um and he'll actually take a little bit of a sip out of the um out of the pond or the the fountain rather before continuing his run around the, the kingdom. Um, <laughs> and once he gets... I'll give him the scratches. Yeah, once he gets back to where you started, uh, the pixies are, like, clapping and laughing about how, how much fun you're having. Um, <laughs> the the pixie that helped you onto Pinecone uh, will kind of float down to you and say, like, so much fun, right? Yeah, it really is. I don't think I've had so much fun in my life. Yeah, well, it's what? not every day that a uh, that a human gets to ride a pug. Yeah, it's very true. Hmm? It's very true. Thank you so much. Of course. Uh, if you want to ride him again, let me know. Will do. Right. I'm a, I'm like, can I say like after I got off of that, my hair is all crazy? Oh yeah, I too. I was like... going to say that your hair is a fucking mess now. Um, <laughs> the. Other pixies, while you're doing that, um, one of them floats over to um, uh, Silvius. Uh, this one that's kind of like uh, like long dark hair that's kind of pulled back, uh, dressed in once again the the average costumes that these uh, beings wear, and he'll float over to you, Silvius, and say, "Excuse me, do I know you by any chance?" Uh huh. You you you, you look familiar. Why? Uh, yes, you you you've got a if you don't mind me saying a very strange appearance that I've I could have someone I've seen before. Well. Uh, give yeah. me a history check. Okay. Is she back up? History. Uh, uh, 15, I think. I think. Hmm. 
Or wait. God, I can't tell what You got it. You got a 15. Okay. Um the number on the left is what you roll normally. The number on the right is what you get with advantage. So, say you rolled with advantage, you would have a 15. Um but if you rolled normally, then you would also have a 15. Okay. If so, you do I know them? Yes, you do. Ooh. Um, you have a f- pretty bad memory uh, overall. That's just something, one of your character flaws. Um, so you don't quite remember where you've met this this pixie, but you have met them before. Um, and they're going to say, um, uh, I don't know if you uh, remember me. Um, uh, my name is, uh, uh, let's see here, is, uh, Brightmite. I was, uh, I was kind of on the outskirts of Prismire. Uh, I, I met you there, I think. Uh, you, you still brew potions, don't you? I do, yes. I see, so I was right. That's kind of all I've been doing, honestly. Well, it's what you're good at. I mean, Uh, yeah, I guess. You know, well, it's it's good to see that you're still alive and well. You just, you know, one day you were, you know, within the Feywild and the next you just weren't. Yeah. Yeah. I left for some reason. <laughs> um, Do you know the way back in by chance? Uh, I'm trying to get back there. Mm, uh, you'll you'll see that they kind of you get the sense that they do, but they're like. Ah, uh, about that. There is a way, but it's kind of really hard to, like, get there, and we're kind of not supposed to, like, let it be known, if you get the idea what I'm saying. Um, what I can say is if you, you know, you stick around and, you know, uh, continue to be uh, a happy and lovely uh, uh, fair goer, uh, you might find yourself in a position where you could uh, get close to that uh, opening. Okay. But I can't make any promises. Um, of course. Yes. Um, yeah. Well, I, I, as you see, I've also left uh, the Feywild. I, I will warn you that um, things aren't the same there anymore. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, and they kind of look nervously away from you and say, uh, there's another person who knows more than I do at this point. I, I left a little bit before everything went down. But there's somewhere else, someone else around here that can tell you more. Um, What's their name? Uh, if you can give us one, or appearance, or anything uh, to help recognize them. She's within, like, spitting distance of this place. Her name's uh, Diana Cloppington, believe it or not. Um, mm-hmm. She looks like a centaur, but she's not a centaur. Don't call her a centaur, okay? okay. Okay. Centaur, that's not a centaur. Got it. Yes. Um, no, not a centaur. Just not a centaur. Yeah, she's she's over at the, the bubble pop nearby. Oh, ah, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. I guess that's where we're headed next. Mm-hmm. Me going, on, uh, going to these attractions has proven useful. Yeah. I say as a player. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, just, as I said, don't mention that she looks like a centaur. Um, don't, you didn't hear any of this from me, right? Yeah, I didn't hear anything from you. Yeah, I'm doing this because you're also one of us. And he'll point at Den Den and say, you're, you're fine. And he'll kind of float away off into I... the other pixies. <laughs> I um... put my needle tighter. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one would see this, uh, Carl, but... Uh, as they said, you're one of us. Uh, Silva's has a little smile. Oh, covering. Oh, that's really cute. 
Okay. So at this point, uh, Rhiannon, you would um climb down off your um off your pug friend here, and uh would find uh a very grumpy looking Den Den, uh, and a very cheery looking um <laughs> Zilvia, or S- Sylvius, excuse me. Um, Sylvius, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be like. That was so fun. What happened here? Mm. Apparently something's up. Something... Something's up in the uh, Feywild, and we also got a lead on how to get okay. there. Cool. Okay, so... Yeah, and I think I got insulted. <laughs> okay, maybe. Anyway, let's. Or do you. Do you want to do something else here? Um. Didn't they say there was like a little bakery? Yeah, there, there's a bakery off to the side. It, it looks like a. Uh, uh, a fairy. Uh, cottage, but it also doubles as a bakery. I'll head over to that bakery. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Uh, all right. At this point, uh, let's see here. Uh, let me see. I gotta find the thing again. Oh my god! All right. Uh, cool. So you guys walk over to the um, uh, to this cottage, this bakery. You see other uh tiny miniature uh fair growers kind of come in and out of there. Uh, you see a couple of them sitting outside in the grass, uh, doing like kind of a picnic thing as they. Uh, they seem to be eating the most beautifully smelling uh, sandwiches and tarts uh, in their hands. They just, they smell and look absolutely delightful. Oh, by the way, Carl, mm-hmm. this map that we have, like, out of game, do, like, our characters have something like that at all? Uh, no, you do not. <laughs> Uh, but you, the players, get it and get to do a little bit of a meta knowledge of, hey, this thing's over. You also got to keep in mind there's signs like all over the place yeah. pointing to where these things are, so you don't really need a map. Love good signage. Yep. All right. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Are we supposed to be getting more happy or not? I don't know. I don't know. This is confusing. <laughs> roll with the punches. Let's go. Also, hmm. we're welcome gifts. Uh, you'll find out. You'll find okay. out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, with that, um, you guys come upon the cottage. Uh, and a couple of pixies will be standing at the door because you've you've guys seen those doors that kind of um like they're split in half, you know, and like the top half can come in while the other half is like still there. Uh, I think they're called like farm doors. Is it? Yeah, I think I know what you're talking. About. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Think, yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys kind of uh make your way over there, and a, a pixie kind of standing at this door, uh kind of leaned against one corner uh, laughing and talking to a couple other uh, people within uh, the cottage. They notice you guys come over and um, they'll kind of stand up more and uh, beckon you guys over and as you guys approach, uh, she'll say uh, uh, Good afternoon to you all. Uh, what can I get you? What do you got? Well, we have um, sandwiches of all kinds and uh, tarts of all kinds, believe it or not. What the... would you recommend? Well, what's your favorite flavor? Pomegranate. Pomegranate? Okay. Ooh. Do you have a Busy. like a physical menu to look at? No, <laughs> just what's your favorite flavor? Okay. Hmm. Could be meat, could be berries, could be sweet. Whatever you like. What's your favorite? 
Got anything with pumpkin? Absolutely. Uh, and what about you, my fairy friend? Blueberries. Blueberries? Lovely. I love your dress, by the way. Uh, thank you? <laughs> yeah, she'll kind of wink at you as she walks inside. Oh, pixies, they're so deceitful. <laughs> Maybe she just likes you. Oh, you guys are doing the, the like nudge nudge on poor uh, yeah. Zendin here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> hmm. All right. Uh, with that, uh, you guys kind of stand there for all of a minute before uh, a tray is kind of brought to uh, this door, and on it are uh, three uh, or six items. Uh, there's a row of tarts, and there's a row of sandwiches. And she'll put it out to you guys and say, there's a tart and a sandwich of each kind. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, and she'll kind of... Hmm? What do we pay with? Well, if you're a good-looking friend over there, you don't have to pay anything. I'm going to cover my mouth and look at Dead Dead like, ooh! Ben is looking at some of this like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not talking about me. <laughs> Can't see, don't be able to see any of this. So they're definitely talking about you, Dun Dun. Thanks for the free grub. What? <laughs> anyway, okay. Let's see. Oh, Dun Dun, you're quite popular. <laughs> see, they're lying. Anyway, let's go. I want food. <laughs> All right, you guys. So we're gonna eat our food. All right, you guys eat your food. Um. And as you're eating, you watch as various um, people ride a uh, pine cone around the kingdom. and uh, People come and go. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, with like a stuffed mouth, then it's going to hold like a lecture. Like, okay, listen here. See, the thing is, I'm not saying that like <clears throat> all of them are like bad. You know, I'm not an idiot. I wouldn't say all failure, right? right? Um... But, you know, generally, just, like, you have to look out for the fact that they just want a good laugh. And, mmm, delicious. Um, see, mm. that's the thing. If they just want a good laugh, you know, you wouldn't trust another person who just wants a good laugh, would you? So, you know, just I'm just saying, watch out for you trust him. God, okay, Wh which pixie broke your heart once upon a time? You leave me alone as long as you're my size. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, I need each of you guys to give me a perception check. Ooh, okay. I'm um, so good at perceiving. Oh, that's an 18. <laughs> nice. Five. Yeah. Okay. I'm distracted by my pumpkin food. Pumpkin. Hang on. Where's, where's the good die? I could do this so much quicker, but I need my good die. Okay, hang on. Oh, God, I'm just rolling terribly today. Hang on. Uh, Perception, you said? That's yeah. a five. God. That's a five. Okay. Fives. Uh, so I, I'm going to have folks re-roll here in a sec, but um, uh, oh, my God. I, I always struggle with names during the first couple sessions. Uh, Rian. Um, Rhiannon. Rhiannon, sorry. <laughs> I, I keep looking at how it's typed, and I'm just like, that's how it's said, obviously. No, it's not. <laughs> um, at, as you were the closest to um, the door uh, of the bakery, uh, you hear the, uh, the pixie that was flirting uh, with Denden Den say, Yeah, so. Whatever happened to that Kenku? Uh, and another pixie uh, outside the door who is like taking a break says, We don't know. That. Uh, I, something like happened over there. I, all we know is that they look like a bird one moment and then they look like a person another. So she's obviously using disguise self or 
something uh, to get around here. I, I'm even willing to bet she don't even have a ticket. Um, and the other fairy says, wouldn't, wouldn't she get caught pretty quickly with that then? And the other pixie says, you would think, but I guess if you just keep changing up your image fast enough, you don't really need a ticket. Unless, well, you don't need one if you're just walking around, but I figure if you try to go into a place without a ticket, then you're in trouble. Um, and the pixie at the counter says, well, that sure is something, but I don't think a Kenku would make her way down here, right? <laughs> and that's all you can hear. Uh, I guess I'm hearing gossip. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, Den Den and, uh, uh, fucking, uh, Silvis, I need you guys yeah. both to make a perception check again. Oh, okay. Ten. Ten? Okay. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, uh, elsewhere, uh, another group of people talking, uh, once again, more staff pixies. Uh, we'll say, uh, yeah, you know, Candlefoot over by, um, the Hall of Illusions, uh, I, I hear that he and, um, uh, Pasha the Mermaid are in love. And I, like, you know, a friend of mine, not saying names, of course, uh, was told by Candlefoot himself that he was going to propose, but he seemed to have got cold feet or something. I, either way, he hasn't been able to talk. I, like, we get that he's a mime, right? But does he have to be a mime all the time? And that's all you can hear. Mm -hmm. uh, and lastly, uh, uh, whoever rolled a 10, uh, you hear in passing, um, once again, a couple uh, staff pixies say, Man, you know that Burly? Of the the bugbear guy over by the gondola swans, yeah, I I had a chat with him about some uh some philosophical mumbo jumbo, and turns out he's got a lot more brains than I thought. This and is kind of neat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and okay. that's all she wrote. So. Interesting. You guys uh, finish eating, and uh, you guys can discuss this while you eat everything that you've heard. We should go to the Hall of Illusions, guys. Hi. Mm, apparently there's someone who... Let's be honest, I assume he can't talk anymore for some reason. Okay... Well, I was gonna say I just heard some interest, some interesting gossip about uh, some sort of, I guess, Kanku using disguise self to just walk around the carnival. Mm, maybe that's this. Uh, what's her name? Ali, Ali, Aliwig, who is working for us. I, I guess it's not out Possible. of the realm of possibility since they. Well, but this person di most likely doesn't have a ticket, though. So why would they buy us tickets and not themselves? Hmm. I guess. Who knows? Oh, all right. Wait. Oh, they didn't say where the Kanku is, though, right? No, they don't know where it is. And we do have to go to the Bubble Pop Teapot. Oh, uh -huh. we do. Yeah. Let's let's go around then. Let's first go to the Hall of Illusions and then the Bubble Pop Teapot, and then we'll see from there. Maybe we'll encounter something interesting on the way if we check out the restricted areas. <laughs> <laughs> should we should we go on anything else while we're here? Mm, fine, but only because the food was actually better than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wasn't there like a little Ferris wheel? Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm looking around the map now. Uh, well, in the Pixie Kingdom. Oh, in the Pixie Kingdom. Let me check. 
There might be. There could be. <laughs> uh, well, I, I... You know what? I can't give you a good reason why there wouldn't be. So yes, there, there's a Ferris wheel. It's a tiny one. Uh. It, it, it's made out of, like, sticks and teacups. I can God. see. Well, let's um, go then. <laughs> no. What do you mean, no? Oh, what I mean? said let's go. Oh, let's yeah. Go. All right. So you guys make your way over uh, to this uh, this attraction, and once again, you get ushered on board by a pixie, and you go around and around, and as you kind of go up, you guys actually can see above the kingdom, believe it or not, and you guys get to look around at all of the neighboring sites and attractions as someone who is as small as Dun Dun for the first time ever. Everything is very large and very <laughs> distant and very far. Yes, I travel great distances. Um, like, can we, like, uh, do we spot a centaur that's not a centaur? <laughs> uh, you look over at the bubble pop teapot, and no, from outside, you don't see anybody mm. matching their description. Mm. Any kankus running around? Any green gnomes? Uh, you know what? Give me a perception yeah. check real quick. Yes, okay. May I assist? <laughs> uh, you can. Yes, you can assist. What does that All mean right. again? If I get assist. Uh you get roll to roll twice. with advantage. Oh nice. Perception, you said? <laughs> oh boy. Thank God. Oh thank you, Maddie. Uh that's a twenty one. Uh twenty one, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Damn, alright, then you're gonna see all of these individuals then. <laughs> um so as you guys are kind of up in the air. Um, and it kind of freezes for a minute as you guys get to be on top of this ride looking around. Um, you're not very tall, but between all of these kind of huddled together uh, buildings and whatnot, each of you guys are going to witness uh, three things. Uh, one of you is going to uh, very, very closely uh, see this kind of hunched over creature with long arms and legs. Uh, kind of twitch around a little bit before uh, scampering in between uh, two stalls and like climbing under the cloth uh, wall. Um, oh. One of you is going to watch as a uh, as off one of like one of these um, covered wagons over here. Uh, what seems to be a little girl wearing a pig mask, uh, drops down from a neighboring tent onto the covered wagon, uh, and she kind of rolls off it, off of it and onto her feet before running away herself. Um, and elsewhere, uh, kind of... Like, it's weird. She kind of floats amongst the crowd, yet it seems like nobody notices her. This kind of black, misty figure who kind of dances around people. You can't tell if she's supposed to be there or not. Um, and if you guys check NPC descriptions, um, you guys will get a, a reference image of what these three people look like. Okay, hang on. Interesting. Uh -huh. Um, but as you guys kind of try to pay more attention to the misty figure, you see her hand kind of slip into somebody's pouch before she disappears. Uh, so I'll look at my old pouch. <laughs> I I'm still my regular size, right? Yes, you are. And I do have wings. Yes, you do. And we are not stuck to this ride. Like, we have don't have seat belts on or something? Correct. Uh, I'm gonna fly towards the pig mask girl. You're gonna fly towards her? Oh. Yeah, but like... Like, like you're, gonna, you're gonna haul ass take away? Yeah, but like, try to 
to not be noticed. <laughs> okay. Uh, make a uh a stealth check. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Not to judge people based on their appearance, but mm -hmm. hang on. Um, stealth. Oh boy, this can't go well. Come on, I've been rolling terribly the entire day. Oh my god. Uh, I think Den Den is cursed. That's a three. Hmm. So yeah. you you kind of quickly fly down to where you saw her, and you kind of look around the best you can. But this mm. little girl is Gonzo. She mm. is not there anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna go back. You try to fly back over and into the kingdom. Yeah, they're probably gonna stop me. Uh. Yes, actually. Um, so, as you're like flying back over the castle wall to get back in, uh, you're stopped by three pixies who suddenly shoot out in front of you. Um, and three of them, uh, all three of them are having like a little... They got swords, but they're pixie swords, you know? I got a needle. Yeah. That's not um, <laughs> Uh, and they all kind of, once again, they've, you know, mm. they, they just kind of stop you and they go, ah, uh -uh. no, 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 you leave, you leave this place. You got to go back up front, get your ticket punched again. If you want to come back in that bad. All right. Hey, Cardi said each of us noticed one creature, right? Yes. Okay. So I noticed the pickle. Okay. So, all right. I'm just going to wait outside for my friends. Um, there was this girl with a pig mask walking around, jumping on caravans. That doesn't seem like something we're supposed to do. I just thought I'd let you know. I'm going to fly down towards the entrance and wait for the other two. Okay. As you're flying away, uh, these pixies kind of like are silent for a moment before they start laughing. And they're just like, get a load of that girl's horn. Kidding me? Nina, those those ones are rude. Oh, I'm flying back up there. Do they have anything that's large about them, like any body parts besides like ears or something? Anything weird? I'm gonna like scrutinize them, search out anything they could possibly be into. Uh, give me give me three insight checks. <laughs> Hang on. Good. Uh, um, 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 um. Insight. Where's my insight? Where's my insight? Okay. Hang on. That's uh, twelve. Okay. A nat twenty, so twenty five. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> and uh, that's thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, so. In in order from lowest to highest, give me your your rolls. Huh? Uh, twelve, thirteen, and twenty five. Okay. Uh, so these guys are still kind of like floating up towards the top of the wall, right, where they mm -hmm. intercepted you. Uh, mm -hmm. the guy on the left, uh, he's got he's got big ears for a pixie, but they're not that big. And you see that he's got earrings, so he's willing to draw attention to them. Mm -hmm. So you can try your luck at, at pointing out the ears, mm -hmm. but you may not. He may not be all that insecure about it. Mm -hmm. um, the guy on the right, you see that um, his uh, his shirt, right, his uniform is kind of buttoned mm -hmm. up a little weird, um, and you've noticed that his sword is a little too high up on his waist compared to the others. Mm -hmm. So his uniform is out of regulation, um, it seems. Uh, and the guy in the middle, uh, he's got a pretty big fucking nose right on his face. God. Okay. 
Hey, since I just notified you about the pig girl, I thought, you know, actually I take that back. I want to apologize not to judge anyone on their appearance. I mean, like, pigs sm smell pretty well, and, like, I see that you probably, like, can smell pretty well, too. And it's not, like, anyone who has a big, weird, ugly nose is, like, su like suspicious or anything. So, <laughs> sorry about that. You know, just forget about it. I'll... Wait for my friends at the entrance. Bye, guys. <laughs> uh, uh, the one all the way to the left as you take off starts <laughs> fucking busting his ass at the other two. Like, he's dying. <laughs> like, that was the funniest shit that he's ever heard. Um, uh, your two friends who were just abandoned in this cup watch all of this occur. Yeah, I'm just like. Uh, uh. You sure about this pixie? What? Fairy? They're all there. Wow. Sure about them? Sure about them? No, they're fine. I mean, look, it looks like they can hold their own just fine. But, jeez. After this, we should probably just head to the front and catch up with them. <laughs> All right. Yeah. It's and... also something I'd like to check out as well. And so the cup comes to the bottom and you may leave. Um as you guys uh exit out, you guys can find Denden uh sitting out front. Uh uh <laughs> Jeremy has been asking them and trying to persuade them to get another punch in their card to get let back in. Um, no. continuing to say, <laughs> to say like, oh, but you were just in there. It's a wonderful place. I'm literally just raising my eyebrows at him. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh poo. Anyways, you all have a, have a grand night. It was a mm. pleasure meeting you all. And if you'd like to return and, you know, stroll around the Pixie Kingdom yet again. Uh, you know where to find us. Um, okay, thank you. And he'll kind of once again reach into his pouch, pull out some pixie dust, and then, then do you want to stop them to do your, your evil scheme here? Nah. Nah? Okay. Uh, and he's going to <sighs> blow the dust over the two medium-sized creatures uh, who you guys have to hop off the counter uh, onto the ground as you guys get too big to stand on top of. As soon as they're big enough again, I'm uh, immediately uh, fleeing into uh, uh, Rhiannon's uh, uh, yeah, pocket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, as you guys turn to leave Den Den, mm -hmm. um, you see on the one of the top walls of this place, the pixie that flirted with you, and she just kind of gives you a little wave before flying back down into the kingdom. She mm -hmm. likes you. We didn't even get her name. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Where would you guys like to go next? Uh, um, I think the next place was the bubble pop. Yeah, I guess bubble pop. Ah. Uh. So real quick, let me. I gotta. I gotta look up something, and I also gotta take some medicine real quick. So give me a sec. Okay. Hey. And I'm gonna I'm gonna turn to uh Silvis. Hello. And I'm gonna say uh we might wanna be careful and watch our bags. Pretty sure I spotted something pickpocketing. Mm. Alright. It was a girl wearing a pig mask. She was weird. No, no, no pig mess. There was some sort of kind of black misty figure. No, but there Maybe. was also a girl wearing a pig mask. Really? Yep. A pig mask. Oh, so, pickpocket, a pig mask. I saw some, like, I don't even know what it was. <laughs> Running around. 
You could you could look at the NPC description. If you no, I see. no, I know. I oh, I don't even okay. know what it is. <laughs> That's my description. I don't even know what it was. <laughs> All right. So right. as as you guys are talking and walking, uh, you guys uh overhear kind of this like like boom boom boom. And you guys look over your shoulders and find a 12-foot-tall walking tree gnarled in uh, golden ribbons that marches down the thoroughfare. Emerald clouds swirl above the tree and rain down golden spinning sycamore seeds. Fairgoers try to catch these seeds before they hit the ground. As the seeds gently fall, a chatty squirrel scampers along the branch of the tree uh, and he basically bending down branches to hand dandelions to select passerbys. Um, as this tall tree figure walks past you guys, uh, you guys can uh, try to catch these uh, these trees, or these seeds, rather. Ooh, I totally want right. to do that. Uh, yeah, everybody give me a DC 10, or... <laughs> Well, now you know. Give me a dexterity saving throw. You gotta beat a 10. Meet or beat a 10. Ah, six. Six. Give me another roll. Come on. Yeah. We try a couple times. Routine. There you go. Okay. All right. So you, you, you go to catch one, but you just barely miss it. Uh, but in the other hand, you catch one. Uh, someone else give me their roll. Uh, I got an 11. An eleven. Okay. Uh so you you reach out and one floats into your hand, you catch it just fine. Uh what about you, Denden? Den? Uh, sorry, what kind of roll? Uh a dexterity say or a dexterity same though. A dex check. Just a straight dexterity uh oh, dex. check. Yeah. Dex check. I did a saving throw. I hate this stupid carnival. Anyway, hang on. <laughs> wow. That's a two. <laughs> That's a two. I swear to you, I'm cursed. I'm Get, throwing this die away. Give me, give me another roll. Put it in dice jail. It'll learn its lesson. Yeah, I do still need a proper dice jail. That's an at twenty. <laughs> That's an at twenty. Oh well, so you, there we go. You go That's to catch one, and it just kind of bounces off your head for a second. Um, but the next one that comes by, you you catch it just fine. Nice. Um, and as you were like gripping onto the seed. Uh, a squirrel suddenly appears right in your face, and it hands you a dandelion, a, a dandelion uh, flower. Mm -hmm. um, and this squirrel hands each of you a dandelion as well. And as the tree bends back up, uh, the squirrel will say, uh, "Make a wish." As Ooh, it kind okay. of yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to like close my eyes and I'm gonna wish <laughs> and then I'm gonna make a wish in my mind. Okay. And I'm gonna, yeah. I want you each of you to record what your wish is in the uh the chat in the text channel. Record what the DM asks you to hear. <laughs> Cause your wishes will come up later. Wait. Ooh. On uh on Discord. Is it supposed Let's see. Or do the DM ask you to yeah. hear? So if we you don't... put an R wish there. Yeah. Put yeah. Put your what you're wishing there is. N in character, nobody has to know what you wished for, but I the DM need to know what you're wishing for. And I want it to be all in one place where I can just pick it up later. Cause you're making my lives easier, folks. To find the Fay Hercurst you? Nice. Yeah. Uh, you guys who who are typing right now, what what did you each wish for while you're typing what you're wishing for? You first, Maddie. <laughs> Just say what I'm wishing for. Yeah. 
you, you can say it to I us, the it. us, the, the players. players. You don't have to tell. I'm just, yeah. I'm trying to think of how I want to word it, I guess. <laughs> they... I am. Feywild. I want to go there. Uh, I wish to find my way back into the Feywild. Nice. What about Come you, on, Den Den? Uh, well, at first she considers wishing for everyone <laughs> to feel a little shitty about some insecurity of theirs uh, at this carnival, but uh, then she actually hopes she can like make a lot of a lot more jam for Zabilma in the future. Okay, so each of you blow on your dandelions, and these uh, little seeds kind of go off the flower, and they dance around, and they uh kind of get blown away off by the breeze um yeah so uh that'll come up later and uh after like blowing these uh wishes away i need each of you to roll me a d8 okay um Six. That's a five. How do you, How do you roll again on here? On the on the roll twenty. Yeah. I think it's either R slash or slash R. Might be slash R, and then like put like uh -oh. Oh, one D eight. Ooh, gotcha. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Uh, who who got the lowest? I think, yeah, I think it was me. I got a five. Okay, okay five. Yeah. And then who got a who got higher? Me. What did you get? Six. Okay. Ooh. Uh, so in your guys's hands, uh, the uh sycamore seed that you caught, uh, you hear it kind of make this like humming noise, and it kind of vibrates a little until the outer shell of the um the seed kind of makes a pa noise and in its place is a single gold piece. Hmm. Huh. Um uh you who got an eight, uh you kinda get this warm feeling in your hand with the seed, uh that it is somehow lucky. Uh hmm. and Maddie I'm going to yeah. send you a message on what this seed does. Okay. Um, seed for seed. <laughs> uh, this is what this seed will do for you now. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Um, and as people are kind of going by, and each of you have made a pretty good lighthearted wish... Uh, you see that the people around you are visibly happier, uh, making their own wishes and getting their own little gifts. Um, as as time passes by. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> so, where would you guys like to go? Go on the bubbles, right? Yeah, we're going to Bubble Pop. I thought you guys were going to the Hall of Illusions first. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's go to the Hall of Illusions. <laughs> yeah, because we were going to pass by it anyway. Oh, uh, okay. So we're going to pass, we're going to go in there, and then we're going to go to the Bubble Pop. Hmm. Okay. All right, so with that, uh, you guys uh, wander your way over to the Hall of Illusions. Uh... A wooden mannequin of a grinning, raven-haired uh, young woman in a witch's attire and a green flowing cape hovers inside a glass cabinet outside. At the top of the cabinet... Him? Huh? Sorry. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. At the top of the cabinet, a sign that reads, Tasha the Wizard, known for her hideous laughter. No! <laughs> no! Um, <laughs> a halfling couple holds hands as they approach the glass cabinet. One of the halflings is wearing a is wearing butterfly uh, face paint as he uh, 
drops to one knee and pulls a a small box from his pocket. The sweetheart bursts into laughter and begins rolling around on the ground. The halfling in face paint begins sobbing and darts into the nearby tent without getting his ticket punched. Huh? He begins what? Uh, sobbing. He he got re- he got basically rejected as this guy tried to propose to his lover in front of the witch queen. Tasha here. Oh, he got rejected. Yeah. Aww. Oh. Uh, yeah. After a moment, these, uh, this, <laughs> this, uh, lady gets up and she kind of like hobbles off looking for the man that she just <laughs> rejected. Um, as you guys approach this mannequin figure, um, I need all of you to make a, uh, intelli- uh, a history check at that. Excuse me. A history, history check. check. Yeah. Hey, 21. Ooh. Uh, and, uh, nice. Um, Den Den. Yeah. I need you to make this roll with advantage. Oh, boy. Ooh. <laughs> well, that's a 19. A 19. Okay, so everybody got above a 15, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, uh, okay. Babe, what did you get? I got 17. 17. Uh, my love, uh, you would recognize this figure, um, as somebody that you've heard in passing uh, by various scholars that have passed through um, your home, uh, usually archivist and mages from uh, Candlekeep, of a figure known as uh, Igwilv the Witch Queen, oh. uh, a legendary archmage, um, and somebody who is not to be reckoned with. Um, Maddie. You recognize this person as someone who usually changes identities fairly often in order to not be discovered by old enemies. Um, uh, You've heard of this person namely because they have made many, many visits to the Feywild and has been reported to currently reside there. Den Den, uh-huh. as the other two are kind of piecing together who this figure is, this witch called Tasha, they look strikingly similar to your friend. Oh, Zabuna. Do you say that out loud? No. Okay. I just surprised all righty um do does the, is there any like inscription on this or anything it it just says uh it just says tasha the wizard known for her hideous laughter I'm um gonna, like, wh- whisper whisper to my friend um, uh, 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 that's not Tasha that's my friend friends with a mage from Candlekeep what? 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 let's go inside what are you whispering about? that's not Tasha that's my friend Den Den's friends with the mage from Candlekeep. No, my friend isn't a mage from Candlekeep. My friend is Sibylna. That, that ain't no Sibylna. <laughs> okay. As you guys approach uh, this um, this mannequin, I need all of you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh boy. Saving throw! A saving Uh-oh. throw. We're going to uh, die right here, right now. <laughs> no, of course not. 16 is nice. Okay, I got, a, nice. I got a 21. Okay, nice. 
What about you, Denden? How do saving throw work again? Uh, I will. Hold on. <laughs> Denden, you have. You've got a plus three to wisdom saving throws. So just roll a d20 and add three to it. That's a. 19, 20, 20, wait, 20, yeah, 22. <laughs> okay. I can do both. So, uh, all of you guys kind of walk towards this, um, this box, and you guys kind of get this weird sense that something was just cast upon you, and you hear behind you, um, uh, just this awful awful laughter start going off like like this just this man just start fucking doubling over with laughter uh as this um a very familiar face was walking behind you who uh a a certain halfling that you came here with ah (laughs) oh babu uh babu is currently dying right now like he is laughing his fucking ass off um uh, he fucking died and okay. in that moment you guys realize you put the pieces together mm. when you come close to the box that is describing Tasha known for her hideous laughter if you get too close it casts Tasha's hideous laughter on you <laughs> so <laughs> that also means that when that Um, that halfling tried to propose to his partner. She just happened to be too close to the box. I knew it. Um, and you watched as they both, uh, hold on. Uh, the, the halfling with the paint, the one who proposed is now currently in the hall of illusions. Uh, his partner is, has ran off somewhere else. (laughs) <laughs> I'm sure that was embarrassing. Mm-hmm. But who knows? Maybe if you can find him in the Hall of Illusions, you can let him know what's going on. Oh, this is, oh okay. <laughs> uh, first, I'm going to talk to our uh, halfling friend. Okay. And see if we can get him to calm down. <laughs> okay. Uh, after, like, patting his back and, like, telling him, like, it's okay and, like, try to get him closer to the entrance of this place um he he kind of catches his breath and he's like oh my god i don't i don't know what came over me that was oh yeah that's it seems like the object has some magical properties if you get too close to it yeah yeah uh you see uh, two halflings come by uh, uh my the 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 two that one was trying to propose the other. Oh, okay. Then I'm gonna say that. Okay. <laughs> I thought they were gnomes for some reason. <laughs> no, they're they're halflings. Um. Yeah, we uh, did see. You you tell him and he, uh and Barbara kind of starts like hatching his breath even harder, and he's like, "Oh, poor Reuben. Oh, my dear sweet cousin, I." He's in there somewhere. I I'm so sorry. And he like gets up back on his feet, and he kind of starts to go ahead of you guys into the hall of illusions. Okay. I'm gonna say, make sure to tell him what has happened. I will. Thank you. Uh, okay. And he, you hear suddenly he go, uh, "Yes, I I have a ticket. Yes, I know how many holes are punched on it. Can you just please say something?" I, okay, ah, I'll I'll be back. Women. I'll be back. Okay. Um, uh, and I'm gonna ask him. Did you run out of hole punches? Uh, I I did. Would you like us to go? We were about to go in anyway. Would you like us to go tell him? Uh, if you could, yes. I while you're doing that, I'm going to flag down another ticket salesman. See if I can buy or barter for another one. Such. A- why I'm a, I'm a, ha- I'm a, I'm a, I'm a grab his hand. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna place eight more uh, silver in it. He, he's gonna look at you with kind of these wide eyes and say, 
Bless your soul, missus. I, okay, I, I'll be back. Thank you. Um, no problem. And he'll... As spry as a halfling can be, uh, run off into the crowd. I swear okay. to you, this is like some sort of... I don't know. I don't, like... Bet they keep making the tickets more expensive every time you buy one. <laughs> well, hopefully he has other money on him then too, so it should add up. Mm. Uh, however, let's go tell this man he was not rejected. Okay. Yes, but first let's go to whoever uh, Babur was just sp speaking to because they did not respond. That's literally who we're going to see. Hmm. Uh, with that, um, <laughs> also, Joe, I love, I love your art of Den Den so much. Oh, does um, this make pretty you happy? Damn good. It does. Does it fill you with joy to see her weep? It, it does. It, it's no. great. No! That's I, so I will, weird. I will cause further misery as we go along. Don't worry. Oh, wow. Um, okay. With that, uh. This large tent is painted with a mural of shifting images that show grinning fairies diving into pools of color. The hexical stripes of the tent's pointed uh, canopies rotate in spirals, and the whole display seems designed to befuddle onlookers. A clown dressed in muted garb stands at the tent's entrance, blinking at you. Uh, in this, I'm going to once again post... Uh, in NPC depictions on what this fine man looks like. He is wearing fairy wings, but don't be mistaken, he is actually a full uh, human. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, this is appropriation! No! Jesus! <laughs> mm. oh. um, so... Yeah. Like his box. Right? Um, so, this... A uh, person will kind of blink at you all and kind of make a gesture as if to say, like, like a like he's mimicking punching a hole in a ticket. Is his name Candlewood? Is your name Candlewood? Who kind of also giving him my ticket? <laughs> I'm giving him my ticket too. Okay, he who kind of tilt his head at you and he'll punch the tickets and gesture kind of like like make make a an insight check as he mimes at you trying to tell you what who he is. God. Just nod your head or shake it. Jesus. Hang on, okay. Well he he shook his head no, that he's not oh. candle wood, but he's going on to say like you're close, right? Oh oh, oh okay, hang on. <laughs> or inside you said okay. Oh Jesus Christ, that's a nine. I'm confused. Okay. You watch as he like makes a gesture with his hands, like like he makes a tube and then like like gestures as if there's fire, and then he points at his foot. And your best guess foot? is Oh sorry. Your best guess is hot foot. Ah, okay. Okay, so this is not candlewood. We gotta go find candlewood. Bye anyway. <laughs> uh those of you who did who watched this go down, you recognize that this man's name is Candlefoot. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I'm like uh, leaving. <laughs> nice to meet you, Candlefoot. Mm -hmm. uh, he is the one that Candle Steam, or er, uh, yeah, ke uh, the Kenku uh, who stole this guy's voice. Candlefoot is the one who's missing his voice currently. Well, oh, wait! The, the, the Kenku, Kenku stole his stolen. voice, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna say. Oh. Huh. Guys, like, are you coming? We have to find Candlewood. I think. Um. Either way. Tell him or. I'm going to. Say to him. I'm gonna be very quiet about it too. I would say. If we find the Enku that stole your voice, I'll. I promise I'll try to help you get it back. He he blinks at you kind of surprised and stomps his foot and kind of flaps his arms kind of angrily, basically like, like you know, 
to <laughs> yeah like he he like basically saying like if you find that blasted bird bring them to me i read you loud and clear mm-hmm. and i'm going to head into the evolution place cuz now we got to we got to fix this with between this guy and this girl okay like mm-hmm. How many mimes are going to be in here? Do you ask? Mine? <laughs> well, yeah, because we got to find Candlewood. Hmm. Uh, Candlefoot shakes his head uh, and points inside and points to himself and shakes his head again. <laughs> Just like staring at him like, I don't fucking understand this shit. Say, Just talk that... to me. <laughs> they can't speak. I know they're a mime, but like there's no, no, someone in not here a... that actually Den-den. can't speak. They got like their voice. No. What? Den Den. Well, Her, their voice was stolen. Den-den. But, but I thought it was Candlewood whose voice was stolen, not no, no, what, Candlefoot. Hot foot. Ah. Uh, ah. You know. Carl, is there a chance that uh, Den Den carries, like, I don't know, paper? <laughs> uh, sure, but it's tiny paper. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you... Would I have paper? Yes, yeah. you would. Does All right, I... Pen? <laughs> I'd imagine I would also have a quill. Have a painter's kit, sort. so... I- I'd imagine I would have... You'd probably all have the necessary equipment to, like, paper... Pencil, whatever. Yes, mm-hmm. please, please. I hand him over. Want, <laughs> okay. Like, dude, uh, when, when, he'll, you're, when you're in trouble, just, you know. Yeah. He'll uh, he'll take the paper and very quickly write down um, and kind of look at you all and look back and kind of write down more. And he'll, like, hold up the paper showing a diagram of a pointing to a Kenku. Um, and above it is an arrow pointing at it na- that says kettle steam. Um, and then it, yeah, and then it points uh, over uh, to basic. It that arrow goes to uh, Candlefoot, and that arrow says uh, "took my voice." Um, and that arrow points over to a uh, a mermaid uh, that says "need my voice for her." Um, and then an arrow going pointing back to oh um uh kettle steam that says um she or uh, or another arrow pointing from kettle steam to the to the um mermaid that says um the dang bird is using my voice to fool her oh so he's Uh-oh. probably at silver song lake it, all right is he blind he or it, it does use magic yeah he can change his face or something i think you're right all right uh, should maybe should we split up because someone has to go look for the two troubled lovers in here but also that seems kind of urgent if there's someone running around with your voice uh, uh you know, i'll voice Candle Candlefoot would nod very like earnestly, you know, like like yes, please help. <laughs> okay. Uh I can't help but giggle a bit. <laughs> so who's gonna do what? We've got three different uh, places to go. I'll look for the Kenku. You're gonna look for the Kenku. You're not gonna go to the bubble pop to find where the Feywa the Fey is. I'm going to the bubble pop. Alright, then I'll be going to the Silver Song Lake because I don't think okay. I can be of much help in this Hall of Illusions. I can't really get a big view on anything. Uh, remember to oh. check your pockets. We know there's a thief running around. Yep. So yeah. I will go in here, talk to this, talk to the guy to make sure, and then I'll meet you at the Silver Lake. <laughs> you get done what you can. Yes. I All am right. Captain. All right. Okay, so I'm we're not splitting up. your fairy. Um, a fairy. I know, and you are you are, you are a fairy. He don't need no human. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Also, I will retcon that two of you didn't get your 
tickets punched then. Oh, okay. Okay, only I did then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, with that, um, as three of you part ways uh, to basically go hunt down various figures, uh, you guys will hear another bong as the night moves forward. Uh, Ooh. the sky above actually, you guys can look up, those of you went back out, the sky moves like a notch. Like, it's Ooh. weird how it, like, it seems as if the, the sky of this place is fake. Mm. As it just kind of shifts forward a bit. And as you guys make your way through various parts of this, uh, fairground, that is where we're going to end this session. Ooh, okay. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> oh, no. I can't wait so long. Please. <laughs> the week after the next we have to do. I don't care about New Year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, about celebrations and family. I want D&D. &D. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm glad you guys had fun. Um, so much. We... Our our goal is to do sessions every other Thursday, but as stuff comes up and interrupts, uh, we'll have to put it off here and there. But our goal is to do that every other Thursday. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys for having the session with me. This was a load of fun. I am so looking forward to do more of this. I, I love this like setting so much. I'm There's so much more of the carnival that I'm so excited for you guys to explore. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for DMing. These yeah, NPCs thank are you. super fun. Sweet. I'm so ready to like find out more about all of them. And also, what the hell is up with this carnival? I don't trust it. My trust issues are ringing. <laughs> <laughs> Your trust issues are ringing. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, so that'll be it for us. Uh, if you guys liked watching this, maybe check out uh, more of the content on my channel. And also take a look at uh, the stuff on everyone else's. Alright. So that'll bye be bye. it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.